Hi, how are you doing Pisces? This is your next 48 hour reading. I hope this reading resonates. I hope this reading uh, helps you with whatever you're going through, whatever you might be having in your mind. Um, for your reading, I guess some communication might be taking place uh, between you and the Capricorn or uh, somebody who you feel a great bond with. It might be, um, there's a union that's taking place with the sun card and the lovers and the queen of pentacles and the ten of pentacles there might be really happy news about um a celebration about um you feeling fulfilled uh, a union after a long time between you and your loved one or partner or somebody who you share interest with uh it could be a twin flame uh, also there is a union that's taking place because this chapter needs to be closed in your life and uh, you need to stand for your beliefs, stand in what you believe in, or you, how you go by things. With the uh, seven of uh, cups, I feel like you are um, putting your options on the side. Other situations that might be needing your attention, you're putting them on the side to really um, focus on what matters to you, to focus on what gets you going. And uh, there's new beginnings that are taking place in your life. You're feeling happy and excited after a long time of um, feeling like things are not working out in your favor. Right, with the seven of swords, uh, excuse me, with the seven of swords and the five of swords, I feel like you realize something is not working out or something is not gonna work out and you're deciding to walk away. With the devil, watch out for some toxic people, toxic behavior you might be indulging with, or just you being toxic uh, towards yourself and um, you know, just being stubborn about yourself. Let's get into your reading prices. What does Pisces need to know for the next 48 hour reading? I get that you're in the middle of working on something. Queen of Cups, Judgment, and the Seven of, um, why am I saying Seven for a minute? Six of Wands. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you're in the middle of uh, bringing something to fruition. Uh, you might be learning ways to um, improve your finances, how to improve your life, how to go by things. Uh, but with the Queen of Cups, there's going to be somebody who's offering you a love offer or presenting something to you um, in terms of uh, let's reciprocate, let me give you something to get something back. With the Queen of Cups, it's the, um, somebody who's offering themselves, I feel like, to you. Uh, this is a love situation, there might be somebody who's coming towards you. Uh, with a warm heartness, you know, they are um, truly taking action and they want something stable for a good time, for a long time. With the judgment, I feel like there's going to be a rebirth in your life. There might have been a situation that um, you might have put aside and uh, proceeded with your life. However, there's going to be a rebirth that's coming back um, in a connection. Uh, it could be uh, from your Queen of Cups, somebody who's offering you, um, who's presenting you with an offer in terms of getting something back. Uh, there's going to be a rebirth um, with the six of wands people might be looking up to you at this time uh, for ideas for leadership you know you take control uh, for your insight for your knowledge what you have to offer people are really looking up to you and um, with a judgment I'm getting a sense of um, it's after a good time of uh, disconnection and that uh, this is coming in to uh, really Prove to people that you still got it or just you got what it takes. Because I really get the energy of there's no one like you with the six of uh, wands. People might be trying to grow like you or just uh, trying to be like you. However, they they feel like they cut short. They got cut short, you know. And they're looking for ways or just inspiration from you. They see you as motivation. And they see you as... Uh, Somebody who can provide knowledge that can get them going. I get the Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. There's going to be an offer presented towards you. It's going to bring you financial stability. This offer comes in in terms of something you love to do, something you're really passionate about, something that keeps you going, uh, something that motivates you. Um, with the four of uh, 
cups i'm getting an energy of new relationships new connections might be taking place in your life and uh, with the four of uh, four of pentacles i feel like this offer is coming in with uh to present to you financial stability however there might be some traveling involved with the knight of um knight of wands communication with the eight of uh, wands uh, that communication that's taking place feel like it's giving you anxiety about an ongoing situation. And there might be a situation that's keeping you up at night, uh, draining of your energy. Uh, you don't know how it's going to unfold or just you don't know how it's going to go. With the three of um, one, I feel like you're trying out different things or you're trying to reason in different ways more than one to see how uh, things could go for the better or could go in your favor. You're trying to see what's a long-term investment. What can you do to truly uh, take you on for uh, a, a really good ride for the future? You know, you don't want something that's going to stick around for uh, three, four, five minutes. You want something that's going to really uh, pay off in the future, future investments. You might be trying to invest in somebody uh, in a situation. You might be... Um, Trying to really get something uh, stable while you're going on. However, with the six of um, six of pentacles and the devil and the page of swords, I really feel like um, you're being called to be somewhere else. I feel like you're investing in yourself. However, you're being called to uh, be in another direction or just to be in another area or just at work to truly uh, provide some sort of service, job, duty. Uh, whatever you provide, whatever you give to people, even your presence is really cherished around the people around you at this time. With the devil, I feel like this situation might be a bit toxic. Uh, Pisces, also don't forget that you guys could be people pleasers. And in terms of uh, what you feel like uh, you're being called for, you might be in a situation that just feels a bit too good, you know, just um, it's too sweet or just uh, it's too tempting. I, like I said, you might be dealing with a Capricorn in your life. Uh, who wants something from you um however you're focusing on one thing to move on forward there there is a, a there is love here you know you're going to meet somebody off the bat they're going to be they're going to be looking for love however it's somebody who you already met in your life if this is a new person it's somebody you already met in your life and now they're offering you this cup of um love here um after they see you stable, they see you really stepping in your power, standing in your beliefs, and your beliefs are really getting you somewhere. Your financial life looks really good. It's just that people around you might be trying to hold you down, trying to be tempting. Um, so there is a big need for you to keep your eyes on the price, keep it going, you know. With the hair front and the king of cups, I feel like maybe you might be looking for commitment out of this person. And uh, maybe you come and go for an emotional or you come and go for somebody who holds their emotion within. Uh, somebody who loves from a distance. And uh, I feel like that's creating separation. Or just there is a separation in the union. Maybe this is not the right time to meet. With the two of cups, I really feel like uh, two of cups in this verse. I really feel like you, you be, you giving one side of you more attention than the other. You know, you're not balanced up in emotionally wise, and that the situations around you are truly getting to you. They're getting to your head. This, this will be a good time to take care of yourself, not yourself. Maybe a separation with your person makes you feel a bit off balance. or just you feel like um, it, it traps you in your head quite a bit. This will be a really good time to really focus on yourself. But I really see some anxiety tied up to this, you know. You having your mental battles and mental conflicts to really uh, go and fight. With the Empress, I feel like um, this is a good time to heal up. I uh, sit in that power because I really see you uh, feeling um, stable and secure for your future. Right now would be a good time to really sit in that empire of yours and just hold, just breathe, you know, just enjoy what you have around, nature, grow, uh, make room for 
you know, room for abundance because there is a lot of abundance coming in for you with the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There's so much that's coming in for you that it just needs you to really uh, feel like um, empowered, you know. Embody the feminine side of you if you, you, you've been leaning on too much of your masculine. You know, focus on like being reciprocative, a bit emotional, a bit uh, pleasant. Just say how you feel in terms of uh, if you're feeling a good sense of loss. Just say how you feel. Just uh, loss, abandonment. Face your feelings with the seven of uh, wands. You might be feeling like there is a lot of competition going on around you. A lot of people trying to bring you down and that might be also causing you to feel lost. People might be really feeling like you're really empowered at this time. They see you really growing. They see you really um, reciprocative, you know, with the emperor. With the emperor being here, this is somebody who's a bit ruthless in their control. However, with the empress, somebody who's understanding. And people might be taking that understanding from you and they want to battle with you. They want to take you down to their level. But it's kind of like you got to stand your ground. Regardless of the fact that um, it creates a sense of loss and abandonment within you, I really feel like uh, you have to actually face yourself. You know, you might be feeling some self-doubt at, at this point. You know, feeling like uh, you wasted your chances or you don't know how this situation is going to unfold. With the Nine of Wands, I feel like you want to grow, expand, you want to truly um, shine through. However, you're being encouraged to rest at this time. You know, you might be feeling like whatever you're working on is going to take some time to come to fruition. However, how do you hope up? Um, have your hopes up? With the four of swords, I'm getting an energy of you need to rest, to recuperate, meditate, relax. Uh, walk away from situations that are not benefiting you. Walk away from people who are draining you of your energy. Just focus on what gives you, what adds value to you, what fills your cup. With a nine of... Um, with a nine of uh, cups, I get this energy of uh, you get your wish fulfillment coming true. You get your wish coming through for you. And uh, with the knight of swords, it's encouraging you to uh, be brave and courageous. Uh, take the shot. Just go after it. And um, I feel like maybe your wish might be to partner up with somebody for a long time. Or just to feel that family happiness together as a union. And uh, with the queen of swords, the king of wands... I feel like you might be moving towards uh, somebody who's charismatic, charming. However, the way you're moving towards them is kind of like I'm being defensive of my heart. I went through changes. However, you're putting your gut up for no reason because this is a king of wands. Somebody who wants to understand you. Somebody who wants to get you. However, you're really putting up your defenses up because um, maybe you feel like they have other things involved, other things going on. And maybe... Yeah, sometimes things didn't go in our way, or just you feel like I might just say like they have. You feel like they have other parties going on, and that's making you feel some sort of way. And um, I feel like this might be a love connection. Why you feel like you want a long term abundance with somebody, emotional fulfillment from somebody, but they have other situations going on, other situations boiling up for them. With a page of cups, I feel like you're trying to take things really slow because you want to move the situation for the better. You want to truly uh, improve your whole mind state. Or you're going through a whole uh, situation where you feel like your mind is a bit clear. Uh, with the nine of um, pentacles, I'm getting an energy of your achievements, your goals, your plans. They're being blessed by the universe and the universe is adding more to that. Whatever you have been working on, whatever you have been bringing to fruition, the universe is bringing more to that. And uh, I'm going to end it on the full card. Uh, with the two of uh, pentacles, I feel like your financial life might be needing some balancing. Uh, you might be needing to watch how much you spend and save, how much you um, really um, put out and how much you keep in. You might be balancing out the energies around you, but there's a need for you to be the, the middleman, to really uh, know what you want, to know what you value most. With a hair front, commitment might be coming in for you uh, in terms of your uh, partner. They might be getting married. They might be um, coming through a time where you feel confident within yourself and your finances. You might be coming to a time where um, um, you sign contracts for a long time. However, with the hair front, the full, the justice and the temperance and the ace of wands, um, the seven of souls, the moon and the queen of wands, I'm getting an energy of um, new beginnings are taking place. You're feeling new. You're feeling renewed. You're feeling like a fool. You're feeling, you're feeling playful again. You're feeling happy. You're feeling that joy in your life. With the justice, I feel like there's justice being provided in a situation. You're feeling like your skills are 
are balanced, you feel like you have nothing to worry about, you feel like, um, you know, the universe is on your side at this time. With the temperance, the universe is asking you to try out something new, something different, and how you've been going about situations around you. Just try out twisting things, just try out uh, adding some flavor, Add a, uh, try out a different scenery, just try out something uh, a bit different, that's how I could put it. With the Ace of Wands, there's going to be an inspiration coming in, motivation, something that gets you going. With the fire being here, you might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, um, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or just you might be getting inspiration around you. You know, you might be needing to move out with the Page of Wands. Excuse me, with the Knight of Wands. Just move out in terms of um, travel. Just walk, go for walks, go in nature. Just get, seek out new inspirations. And uh, with the Seven of Swords, uh, something you might have been planning on to or something you had in mind, it's not going to go in your it's not gonna go as planned or just isn't it's not gonna go uh, how you thought it would gonna go with the moon card i feel like there's going to be new secrets something that was kept in the darkness brought to the light with the queen of wands i feel like there's going to be room for growth you just stick in what you believe in stick in what you um stand for yeah and then um is there anything sister wow is there anything a Pisces needs to know? Um, yeah, you're holding on to something and it's not allowing you to move freely. Uh, the best thing to do right now is to focus on your work. Uh, there's some buttons you're holding from your past, uh, traumas, uh, memories, or just something from your past that did not go um, as planned as well. You know, it's something that really made you feel some sort of way. Or um, how you went by things. With the Ten of uh, Wands, I feel like you're holding on to the past. And uh, with the Knight of Cups, I feel like it, it, by you holding on to the past, it's not allowing you to really share that cup of love. Rather, it's causing you a lot of mental stress. Yeah, that's it, Pisces.